5% in commission. Average house in GTA is upwards of a million. Let's just say it's a million. So 5% means $50,000 in commission in a single deal. Whoa. Yes, let me get the real estate license. I can sell easily at least to my brother or sister or in-laws or best friend. But, but you know what? Your brother's best friend is also a realtor who's going to give him 2% cash back and after 18 to 24 months of seriously studying and easily investing upwards of more than $10,000 in fees and tuitions, here goes your 100% confirmed strategic customer. I'm not even talking about the immense hard work which will go into studying and scoring a minimum of 75% to pass each level of exam. Today I'm starting a series about three most common professions in Canada. A lot of people moving into North America, more specifically to Canada, picked by making seemingly deceptive assumptions just by seeing a few numbers and people around them running around and jump into these choices. So this is part one, which is real estate. Getting a real estate license certainly tops this one list for sure. On the face value, it's goddamn attractive and really enticing. Let me chuck my 9 to 5 job and get the real estate license. Even if I do two deals in a year, it will be more than the average job earning. Well, to be honest, it is true. But the real truth, as they say, is stranger than fiction. And this is coming to you from first hand experience holder. This is exactly what we did. My husband got his real estate license and while we were getting our licenses, Oria College was closing down. So my husband decided to get his broker license as well. Why only real estate agent? Let's take it to the next level. I will become a broker in two years. He said like he'll become a broker in two years and we'll make our own real estate brokerage firm. This was more than four years back. And at that time, we ended up paying more than 10,000 K in fees, separate tuitions, buying a lot of material, digital study material. And I'm not even quantifying the time component yet. So initially, as an agent, he started with Home Life Golconda based out of Aurora in Ontario. So far, generating business in today's world, there are two main ways, <clears throat> either digital or conventional. Since we were immigrants, we didn't have any history or friends or family here. So we decided on digital marketing, which we were already doing since like more than 10 years. So generating leads for him wasn't tough at all. Here again, the cost of website, landing pages, Google AdWords, ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, brochures, flyers, pamphlets. And I'm not even bringing it up as it would differ person to person, campaign to campaign, but easily would be in thousands and thousands of dollars. Soon we started generating more than two dozen leads each day. Why I'm telling you this two dozen number, just to give you an idea that out of these 24 leads, not even one would be genuine. Maybe in a hundred leads, one or two, three might be genuine inquiries. So to save those super precious inquiries out of hundreds, just to realize that after showing them dozens or maybe dozen and a half houses, they stop, they just stop taking your calls. So just simple way to say, just simply they would say, we will let you know if we are interested. We have a realtor friend who uses a trick to find out the genuinity of the clients he's showing around. He takes the clients to Tim Hortons parking lot to get them some coffee and he quietly leaves his phone on record to get an idea of the conversations client have behind him and in most cases he comes to know that they are just exploring the neighborhood in realtor's car at realtor's expense in their free time. Most of our online leads were either realtors themselves fake calling us to learn more about market or real estate, coaches trying to sell their coaching or digital marketers marketing themselves trying to sell their online marketing deals. So now we come to the brokerages like we were new, new realtors, they need training, they need to know how to do, how to work, what they should do. So the training which is which most brokerages give is superficial and at a very beginner's level 
and brokerages are expensive as there are monthly charges and if at all deal happens they will take between 35 to 50 percent of your commission another big issue is that almost every single home has a realtor whether or not they are practicing real estate or not but they just maintain their license a mammoth chunk of realtors just maintain their license to broker their own or their family's deals even if they manage to be a portion of deal at least it will be it will cover their reco and insurance fees and they are even they are not spending from their pocket even if the license maintenance is happening they're okay with it in one of our deals the client was very satisfied and eager to work with us as we were showing him around for more than a month but in the end his mother-in-law was a realtor and he had no choice but to go through her she wasn't available to show him all the houses which he wanted to see but but when he had to buy the house he he just had to go through the family clients do sign a form 300 buyer representation agreement with you but in all honesty it's extremely easy to walk out of that and as a new agent you do not know the nuances of all these both technically and legally i will share another experience a friend of our friend was from morocco and moved recently from quebec to ontario we were based out of sutton and were showing him houses in newmarket and stoffel area which is in within a radius of 50 kilometers give or take after showing him 15 houses on three separate weekends he decided to move to waterloo which is 200 kilometers distance from our location they just kept on insisting that they would only buy through us so to avoid losing this client which we have like serviced him for like couple weeks and to running around with him so much so we decided let's go on a sunday morning to show him his short listed seven eight houses in waterloo we did the showings and they liked the house and wanted to put an offer immediately we talked to the listing agent this was the post covid time when property was just catapulting it was like one property would get maybe dozens of offers it was crazy out there and this time we were showing him around he liked the house we said immediately put the offer because we might just lose it so we talked to the listing agent that we're putting an offer tonight and we want we want our client wants this house blah 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 we convinced the listing agent as he was really nice and professional and told us present the offer asap and market was on fire single houses would get dozen offers and half of them no condition no conditions offer so we prepared the offer and when we sent the offer for to the to our client for e signing he tells us that he doesn't even have the 5% deposit money ready his wife did some miscalculation so much of hard work all down gone down the drain like was he fooling us or what you don't even have 5% down and you're looking for like million dollar houses. I have dozens of cases where we lost on sale just because we were no wise and we walked upon and we were walked upon by posing to be genuine home buyers or even home sellers. Many a time homeowners would call realtors that they want to sell their house, they want to list their house, but in actual they just want to assess how many how much the property is worth. For the homeowner, he's just sitting in it at his home and realtors are spending their precious time and energy trying to convince him to sell through them. It's a standard practice in GTA Greater Toronto area that homeowners want a big chunk of your commission. Firstly, they will negotiate on your 5% commission amount. You just can't guess how much we made on our first home listing. We got our home listing in very initial stages when we started the career we were very new just barely two months old into this real estate business so the first house we sold we took a meager one percent commission in that one percent a brokerage took 60 percent we took 40 percent then the taxes photo shoot bill all in all it wasn't even enough to our cover our real estate insurance bill even more interesting desperate to get listings realtors are even selling houses for one dollar yes you heard that right a single dollar 
with a commitment that the homeowner, whenever they will buy a new house, they will buy through them. That is when they buy. The experiences and stories are endless. There's a kind of a saying in real estate circles that it's easier to earn the money, but difficult to keep it. Many a times the clients are just waiting for a little mistake from your end to extract a legal compensation. In simpler words, sue you. You have to be technically and legally correct a hundred percent of the time. The way people live and do business in Canada is changing dramatically and it, this has a massive influence on Can Canadian real estate market with the country welcoming immigrants almost to the tune of half a million in 2023 with open arms and providing them a promise of citizenship in a few years, these new immigrants buying homes has increased significantly. Canadian real estate marketing has not experienced a time as challenging as now in the past 30 years. While the possibility of buying a home gets challenging with every passing day, Perspective homeowners are not willing to take a break from house hunting, driven by the fear of missing out and an annual price increase of 10% every year on homes. Most people are continue to engage in bidding wars for their perspective homes. Being in real estate industry directly, even we had to engage in bidding wars to get one of our property. This increases the demand and property prices, leaving it unaffordable to significant chunks of the population and a lot of them resorting to getting real estate licenses themselves so that they may get the insider's deal. But how to navigate those strategies is altogether for another video. All in all, real estate is definitely a rewarding career, but it takes time. And people who are born here, studied here, all schooling here, all friends and family here get immense edge over us. It takes years to get a grip of the trade and, cert and it is certainly an uphill task. This was just to give you an insider's perspective that you reevaluate all the pros and cons. So we will be back again next week with the part two of the series, which would be mortgage agent. Real estate is a very rewarding career, but it takes a lot of time, perseverance, a lot of hard work. It's, it's very different from what it seems at the superficial level. If you have any comments, if you have, please feel free to share your experiences or insights with us in the comment section. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.